Hello. I'm going to give a very brief overview of an idea called quadratic funding. Um, this is an idea that originated in a paper that I co-authored with Glenn and Vitalik Buterin in 2018. And I want to explain the intuition behind this idea just at a very high level and think about it in terms of a matching fund. We're all familiar with the logic of a matching fund. A matching, in a matching fund, some sponsor that has capital, some organization, a government or a corporation, wants to give away money in, a, in line with people's values. And so they pledge to match donations to particular projects or charities or public goods um, in some fixed ratio. This is great for individuals because it means that the impact of their monetary contribution is amplified by the sponsor. It's also great for the sponsor because they are able to give away money in a way that's neutral and democratic and in line with what people want. This logic is used in matching funds in a wide range of domains. It's used in campaign finance. It's used in uh, federal infrastructure. For example, the interstate system was built with a combination of federal funds from the Federal Highway Authority and matched funds from individual states, departments of transportation. Um, it's also used in employer-employee matching programs through which corporations give away an estimated $3 billion a year to charity in line with the uh, preferences of their employees. So the logic of um, a normal matching fund, as I'll call it, is pretty simple. Let's say there are three projects, A, B, and C. Individuals give monetary contributions to those projects. Um, maybe people give $1 or $4 or um, $10 to each project. And then the sponsor comes along and matches the funds in some previously agreed ratio. And what's interesting to think about in these different, um, in the normal matching fund logic is where the sponsor's money ends up. So in a typical matching fund, a linear matching fund, we'll get a, an allocation of public funds or sponsored funds that looks like this, where the largest amount of funds in this case went to Project C, where Project C was again the one that got the largest um, monetary value of contributions here. And what plural matching funds or quadratic funding does is to sort of change the logic of a matching fund or combine the logic of a matching fund with the logic of voting to make matching funds more democratic. And the way that plural funding or quadratic funding does this is by rewarding not just the monetary value of the contributions to each project, but also rewarding the number of contributors to each project. I'm not going to go through the formula here today because it doesn't matter too much. I just want to give the intuition. Uh, what the formula is is that it, it says that the total funding to each project should be the square of the sum of the square roots of the individual contributions. Again, it doesn't matter too much what the actual formula is because I think we want to think of this as a template. Um, we, I really want to really just stress the intuition behind this idea. And this is what the formula dictates. What we see here then when we take away the contributions from private citizens or the individuals is this distribution of public funds. Here we see that the largest amount of public funds or sponsored funds is given to Project A, which had the biggest base of democratic support. And in fact, Project C, which had only one contributor, doesn't receive any funds from the public pool. And so what we see here is that plural funding or quadratic funding is rewarding not just the num not just the amount of contributions to each project, but also the number of contributors. And I hope that I've offered just a quick template and a, com a comparison with the matching funds that we're used to seeing that can help think about um, new 
uh, domains to apply this idea. And I think later today, you'll be hearing from some people who have actually put this idea into practice and will be able to think through um, the exciting promises and challenges that this idea poses. Thanks.